What is up guys, welcome back to some more Terraria. So last time we defeated, I think, Skeleton. And now we're gonna defeat the Wall of Flesh and do a couple other things. Um, while I wasn't recording, I was just playing some more. And I did some lava fishing. I got a bottomless lava bucket and two obsidian crates. Oh, that should be decent. Two howling bows, of course. Where's my equipment chest? Bookings. Yeah, all right, I'm just gonna sort my stuff out a little bit and then uh, I will join you guys in a minute. Alright, so I was just uh, messing around and gathering some materials. I should have all I need to make, yeah, a grand design. That'll be pretty helpful. So I also picked up a um, heart statue while I was mining a little while ago. And right now I'm preparing for a boss fight against Queen Bee. So I'm grabbing stuff to make an arena. Yeah, let's see. Art lanterns. And now, wait. I should have a ton of platforms. Maybe. Nope, but I've got a ton of rich mahogany, so I'll use that. That should be about enough. And now I'm gonna grab myself some buffs. And I'll see you guys at the, uh, hive. Alright, welcome to probably the smallest, um, arena for Queen, Queen Bee you will ever see. Let's just... I never found the Queen Bee fight all that hard. I mean, unless you're on master mode, playing as a summoner, trying to kill it with, like, the Abigail summon or something. So far, it's going well. Alright, with Flamer Angle finish. Alright, well that was really easy. And oh, I got the Beekeeper. That was like actually the only thing I needed. Need to make room for all my stuff. Alright, well, there is Queen Bee. That was shockingly easy. Alright, let's just sort all our stuff real quick. I have this chest up here for arena building. So we'll have like... Station buffs and stuff. Except for sharpening. I'm pretty much always gonna be using that. Honestly, the life crystals can go up here too. Most of this stuff can be sold except for the beekeeper. So you can have Hive Pack, Honeycomb, Hive Wand, Enade. Alright, quick check me by chest. Block. Nope. Oh. Um, no, Arena Building. I have a lot of stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna probably, uh... Go set up an arena for the Wall of Flesh, so I will see you guys in a bit. Change of plans. We're gonna just test out a DPS against King Slime. Why is he underground? Oh, there we go. Now let's tank King Slime.
guess King Slime doesn't like. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll use Combat Wrench. Well, that was really easy. I guess it's probably because this is the easiest boss in the game. And at the end of, uh, free hide mode. At least it gives me decent money. Alright, for real this time, let's go to the underworld. Alright, so I, I made a terrible, like, super short little bridge for the wall of flesh. I'm not gonna use any buffs this time, I just wanna see how far I can get. Get a guy booted all, and now we go to the underworld. Slime now is really good for dodging attacks and just falling through a hell of a bit quicker. Alright, let's do this. Are you joking? I wasn't really prepared for this. I can just knock back some of the hungry with a nice edge. Yeah! Sorry, that was my mother. Oh god. Ah, there's a leech. I need healing. Oh, I'm dead. Well then. Alright, I hope you guys won't mind, but, uh, I didn't get an egglet in my world, so, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be going to a new world and trying to find one of those. I'll keep doing this until I find an egglet. Alright, let us enter the glamorous river of penguins. We found a finch staff. <clears throat> My phone starts. Alright, so apparently Wildren hates me because I just searched an entire large world. And didn't get a single aglet, so time for another one. Alright, our world, the uh, Legend of Season, is ready. So, this is the second large world we're searching for an aglet. I uh, don't think I've seen this before. Three demon altars, like, right beside each other in the uh, jungle. I just killed a shark and got a diving helmet, which I think is kind of rare. I've got no clue. Oh yes, I'm pretty sure that this means that I will- Ah, there's another shark and I need to get what air. Yeah. I'm pretty sure one of these weird like crevices mean that there's water walking boots and I need that so I can get lava waders. Okay, let's see if this is actually true. Do I fall fast with the bunny out? I need to breathe. Alright, so is there actually anything out of here? Sea snail. Look at me this. Oh, there's just shark bait. I'm getting decent iron from this. I think I just found a bathtub underground. Ow. Alright, so I think I found some of the weirder worlds that I've ever seen. Got a super deep giant tree that crosses to a minecart trap. Pretty neat. Alright, after another entire large world looted, we still don't have an egglet. So I think I'm gonna give up on that and fish for it. 
is gonna take so long. I'm not saying I didn't get anything good from that though. I got a ton of air bags and cans of worms. Just quick stack everything away. Yeah, 50 worms and 30, 3 enchanted night crawlers. So I already have like 30 enchanted night crawlers. But now we're gonna have even more. This is ridiculous. 83 enchanted night crawlers. And the air bags, I guess, some decent stuff as well. I guess that just means I can expand my potion farm a bit. Daybloom's already planted. Water leaf needs to be planted. Need more planter boxes. I don't. I'm gonna go to the jungle. What? Oh yeah, I forgot the guy died. The merchant can go here for now. That is a solid block. Alright, the merchant should be here, and now I can teleport to the jungle. Alright, I need. I need death we planted boxes, water leaf, shiver thorn. Where do I put this? Bookshelf. I brought this just to sell it. And a moon glow box. Now I can go home and and expand my potion farm. Here, let me just quick staff real quick though. Let me, see, let me just plant some more of those guys. Let me plant a box. Okay, do I have my staff of eagles on me? Yep. Now these can all die. Where's my moon glow box? I also got some Shiverthorn ones, so let me just adjust that. Shiverthorn planter box. Oh, maybe I should put them in the corresponding biome. I don't think that matters. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go see. Yeah, I'm gonna replant these. Shiverthorn seeds. One, two, three, four. This is taking longer than I expected. Alright. All I really can do now is probably. I just deleted that. Whoops. I gotta s set up a better wall of flesh arena and get Terra Spike Roots. Alright, is that everything? No. It's still death to be the fire blossom. This, this is a very tall potion farm. Potions. Already have. Already have. I'm pretty sure you can only harvest water leaf while it's raining. I'm not 100% on that though. Alright, I'm gonna avoid the seeds. What do I think? Hmm, I actually had less seeds than I thought. I could have sworn I had death weed seeds. Sucks that I don't though. Well, here comes daytime and we already have some day blooms ready. Safarugas is amazing. Although, because of it, most places by the end, you normally have like an unreal amount of seeds. Alright, so I'm gonna go do some fishing and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so it's a blood moon. And my original purpose for trying to get a blood moon was to try to get the corrupt I mean crimson seeds because I thought the dryad sold them on a blood moon. I'll be back. Alright, I am back. But I wanted to get crimson seeds. What? Oh. I thought that the mechanic sold fish, the, what's it called? Oh, I can't even remember, never mind. 
Yeah, but there's a couple things I wanted at first in the Blood Moon. It was a mechanic's fishing rod, because I thought that the mechanic sold during the Blood Moon. And the, uh, Crimson Seeds. That way I could get Icar and Blade Tongue once you get into hide mode, but I just found out that the Dryad, I don't think, sells them either until hide mode, or in, until, uh, or just until at all. So, once we get into, a, into hide mode, if the Dryad does not sell corruption and Crimson Seeds, I'm going to go to another world and grab it. Man, I thought Abigail's flower was supposed to be super rare. I've already found, like, two of them. Alright, so I placed a water candle and had battle potion on. So, uh, I got some decent rewards. I got four bloody tears, which is pretty amazing. I only got one shark tooth necklace and no money drops. I got eight gold, though. Alright, so I've been fishing like all night. I got, no actually for like an like a couple of days in game actually. And I've got just a little bit of stuff. 170 bass, 55 bomb fish, 15 wooden crates, 4 iron crates, a frog leg, and a golden crate. With the bass, I'm just going to top up my cooked fish and sell it. Hopefully I get a decent amount for it. Nine gold, that's pretty decent. Alright. Let's just put you in here. I got another high test fishing line from an angler's quest. Equipment. Alright, I don't really need most of this stuff. Let's open our wooden crates. I just want an angler. And I didn't get one. I should just sort out this. And the rest gets sold. Oh, actually, I want to keep this. And I can get rid of this. Okay, I didn't get much great. I got like 30 gold from all that, that's pretty decent. Well, back to fishing. Alright, after like a lot of fishing, uh, I just went and sorted out my stuff, and this is what I've gotten. Wait, no, I must have put my bass somewhere. Where are my bass? Oh, they're right here, 193. Uh, okay, let's open our wooden crate. Come on, please game, all I want is an egglet. Quick stack nearby chest. Egglet! Alright, time for some, uh, equipment upgrades. This can be garbage. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the mechanic spot, so I no longer need the fisher of soul. Crafting, lightning boots. Oh man, that's amazing. Alright, now I have a bunch of stuff to, stuff to sell. Hmm. Goodbye. An unreasonable amount of bass. Oh yeah, I got I got something called a Zephyr fish. Uh I'm I think I remember it being kinda rare. I'm not sure though. Alright, and the rest of my wooden crates, I just get a bunch of extra stuff. Cell, iron bar, lead bar, lead ore, extractinator, copper, yeah. Iron crates. Welcome blade. No, it doesn't look very good. <clears throat> yeah, I can't believe I got four golden crates though. I don't need mana potions. What besides in the gold crate? Light bar, silver, light or ginger beard. And my golden crates, yeah, let's get some extra stuff. Let's just sell all this. Oh yeah, I can equip my shield with Zulu. Am I missing accessories? Oh yeah. 
Alright, wow. I have 92 extra gold. Let's just quick stack. Uh, oh, I have two frog legs. Sell one. Okay, where's my equipment chest? Oh yeah, it's over here. Alright, now all I need is uh, frost, uh, I mean ice skates and uh, obsidian rose and I have terrace spike. So I'm gonna go grab those. Actually, I need to go to the ice biome. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, well, I seem to have encountered a bug. It's just the top of a chest here. What, what the hell? Well then, that's new. I found one of these little, like, underground, like, camps. I normally have a couple gold in it and a little campfire. That's nice. I have encountered a nymph. I actually do need a metal detector, so that's not bad. It dropped so much gold! Alright, I'm pretty sure there isn't a chest with ice skates in this entire world. Because I've been doing a bit of exploring, and you know, I haven't found any ice skates. I think I've explored the entire ice biome. I've had Spelunker potions, and I've got, like, metal detector. So, I think I'm gonna end the video here, and I will see you guys later. Oh yeah, died.